Hi folks, welcome to Solara Technical. In today's video, I'm discussing how a fuel cell system is like a generator system, as well as how it is not. In my last video, I re-ran our fuel cell animation. The link's at the end of this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. It's helpful to think of a fuel cell as a DC generator, since its output voltage is a DC voltage. As such, it's connected directly to the battery bus. Because of this, Unlike an AC generator, there is no need for an AC transfer switch. The AC transfer switch is used to switch between two input sources, either the public utility AC power grid or the output of the generator. Transfer switches are another point of failure, as well as an added expense. As you know, while we call the entire system a generator, it actually consists of several parts. There's the engine, which converts fuel energy into rotational energy. The most common fuel sources are diesel, gasoline, and either propane or natural gas, which require either tanks or pipes to store or deliver the fuel. The output of the engine is connected to the input of the actual generator piece, which converts the rotational energy into electrical energy. To make all of this work, there are several subsystems, such as a battery, starter, charger arrangement for the engine, as well as various controls and protection subsystems to keep everything working properly. And everything is housed in an enclosure we routinely call a generator. Like a generator system, when we speak of a fuel cell, it too is actually a fuel cell system. While not nearly as complex as the generator system, it does have a few additional parts. There's a separate fuel system, usually consisting of hydrogen tanks and some plumbing in an enclosure, although larger fuel demands are deployed in single tanks. Within the fuel cell system enclosure itself, there are several pressure reducers, a water drain with heater, and ductwork to the outside as well as the actual fuel cell device. When a hydrogen fuel cell is operational, it produces some liquid water, hence the drain and the heater, as well as moist air with some unused hydrogen, hence the ductwork to the outside. The only moving parts are the fans used in the fuel cell device. In my next videos, I'll dive deeper into the four main benefits of fuel cell systems over traditional generator systems. Please remember, if you need consulting help on grounding or lightning, or would like help with anything related to power, please give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.